Hey, how are you? Welcome back again to the channel. My name is Drew, aka Booty Sweat, and we are continuing on with our custom variations for competitive play. And today we're going to be taking a look at Jade. So Jade got some interesting stuff with being able to have custom variations. Again, just like Katana, she's one of those characters that I really didn't have much desire to play, but uh, after custom, she got a lot more fun in my opinion. So. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go over a couple of interesting variations that I've put together and you have probably seen other people use too because um, You know, she's become more popular as a result of the custom variation. So without further ado, let's get into the first one Okay, for the first one, I want to show off Delia's dance. This is the first move that we have equipped here It is a low hitting double hitting move that you can amplify to be safe on block. It's normally not safe on block, um, but if you amplify it, it is, and you get a little bit of extra damage and some hit advantage uh, if you manage to hit. So the cool thing about this is it's a low, and so you can swap it into uh, combos where people aren't necessarily blocking low. A great one I've noticed people, for some reason, block high on is her back 3-4-3-4, three, four, three, uh, four, which is plus five on block, but has a gap. You can flawless block it, but um, a lot of people will stand block that for some reason, so after the second three, you can uh, throw in Dilia's Dance to kind of catch them off guard if they're doing that. Um, in addition, you know, there's just some other strings, like her forward 2-1 um, has two overheads in it. And so you can, if they block high to block the first overhead, then go into Delia's Dance to hit them low. So it just gives you a nice little mix up there, it's pretty quick. So you can kind of keep on the pressure by doing that. Uh, or if they get used to doing that, then you just follow up with the one and get the second overhead. Uh, another great thing about this is it's just pretty quick and you're able to keep yourself safe with it. So overall, Dilia's Dance is a pretty good move. I like it a lot. Uh, in addition to that, we've added the Deadly Assassin uh, ability, which gives us some additional strings. The most important of which is really the... Um, the back two one, I think it's back back two one two four. Yeah, this is the most important one out of the strings that you get. Um, the other ones nobody really uses except for a little bit of damage here and there. Um, but this one, for one, gives you a really long range poke with this. It's really fast, a 10 frame startup at this range. It is a high, so it can be ducked, but you can use it at a pretty good range where most people aren't going to be able to like down to you or anything from this range. Um, and then it also goes into the rest of the string, which includes a low and then two overheads. And this string is also safe on block. It's minus two, it has no gaps. So overall, it's just a really cool pressure tool for you to use. It has a mid, a low, and two overheads at the end. So um, it's just really cool. You kind of have to dial it in fast, but... Um, but it's a cool tool, and in addition, you get a really long sweep with this. So normally, that kick is just Jade Sweep, but with Deadly Assassin, she adds on that little pole attack, and you see just the ridiculous range that your sweep gets with this equipped. I keep backing up a little bit. I'm not even sure where this range ends. Okay, so like right there. But that is a ridiculous range for a sweep. Um, you can do a lot of whiff punishing on people who are... Uh, throwing out moves and you're kind of keeping your distance and getting those good whiff punishes there You can really catch out a lot of people and kind of frustrate them and then once you catch them, you know doing buttons then you You know you get all kinds of cool stuff uh, off of that so If I could do it you have to really dial that in pretty quick uh, okay, so that's Delia's Dance and Deadly Assassin. So what else have we added? Well, we've also added the Pole Vault attack. So you see, uh, back forward X gets you the Pole Vault. This move is also safe on block. So Jade has a lot of interesting things to kind of get her in and keep her safe on block. Scarlet, you're not looking too good, honey. Uh, but anyway, this one can really close distance really fast. If you hold down three while you are doing back forward three, she'll run the full distance and do it. She can also just do it immediately. You can do this at the end of combos to get some damage. Well. That sort of thing, and to keep you safe. Um, and, you know, in addition, uh, you can Fatal Blow out of the run. 
So this is pretty cool. You can close the distance and you see the ridiculous range on Jade's Fatal Blow. It's one of the things that makes her kind of good in my opinion. Her Fatal Blow is an overhead and just has stupid range. But you saw I was able to run into perfect range and then use it. So it can catch people out if they're expecting you to uh, use the Pole Vault and you hit them with the Fatal Blow instead. Or maybe you're at full screen and uh, you just close that distance and then use the Fatal Blow. That will catch a lot of people um, because Jade just has so many different things that she can do from that range. She could just go into the Pole Vault and, you know, catch them out waiting for the Fatal Blow. Uh, all of that kind of stuff. Maybe you condition them to look for the pole vault and then you hit them with the fatal blow. Maybe you've been mixing in lows and so you end up hitting them with that overhead. It is reactable, but online that's going to be kind of hard. Uh, it just makes Jade pretty versatile and pretty good in my opinion. Okay, now same as always, if you are enjoying this content, make sure you like and subscribe, etc. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, so the second variation that we have here, we have included the uh, air razoring. So normally you have your one, your high razor ring, but this one hits mid, um, and it's just a really good move. I I like air projectiles in this game. I think they're good, and of course you can amplify it to get an additional one, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Not much really to talk about with that one, except it is a nice um, air projectile that can complement your other projectiles. In addition, we've added her low projectile. So uh, ignore Scarlet there. I have her breaking away, but uh, I'll show you why in a second. Um, so we have her uh, low projectile, which is really good as well for her zoning. So basically with all these, you have a high, a mid, and a low projectile all in your arsenal. This gives Jade some pretty good zoning. We uh, no longer have the, um, the move that continues this string, but you still have, you know, other forms of long range pressure and things like that. You still have this string, which is plus five on block, all of that kind of stuff. Uh, and so overall, I think that these two things make Jade far more annoying from a distance. Um, the ability to use the air razor ring and the uh, the low projectile is just pretty cool, in my opinion. But the cool thing about this custom variation is then you're not stuck with what is, in my opinion, not that good of a move, which is the uh, upward razor ring, the air one. Um, this variation lets you have both of these, which are both good, without having to use up a slot for that. Um, but instead, we have the uh, Nitro Kick. So, the Nitro Kick is cool because, for one, it's just, it's really good. I mean, you can amplify it and all that kind of stuff. I have her breaking away, but um, I'll show you why I have her breaking away. This move is actually Jade's Armor Breaker. So if there's something that Jade is known for in this game is for having a really powerful up or down two. Her down two has really ridiculous range. Um, I'm no, I don't want to hit her because I don't want her to break away just yet. But a lot of people get triggered by Jade's down two. They hate it um, because it's just a really good down two. Uh, it's one of the best ones in the game. And so people will spam it online and things like that. And then, if you manage to get that down to crushing blow with Jade, a lot of people are going to immediately break away if they have the meter, because they're going to be pissed off that you did it anyway. And that's why you have this Nitro Kick. It's not the only reason you have the Nitro Kick, but it's a really cool thing about the Nitro Kick, is then the Nitro Kick itself breaks armor and gets a crushing blow if it is used as an armor breaker. So that's pretty sick. That's a lot of damage. That kind of reminds me of uh, Baraka's ability to use his uh, blade lunge as um, as a an armor breaker crushing blow type of thing. So, or his blade charge rather. Now keep in mind you also get a crushing blow with this if you hit the opponent with it two times in a row. So you don't have to do that. Um, but it just makes for a really good combination. Being able to do that, kind of harass your opponent with this move while you're um, using these has always been a cool thing about Jade. But then you add in the fact that you have a low projectile now on top of it. It just makes this variation super annoying to deal with. People are probably going to be sending you hate mail online if you use this variation. But uh, it doesn't matter. Don't listen to them. Uh, use it to your heart's content and annoy the crap out of them. And have fun doing it. That's what I say. Anyway. So that's going to do it for Jade. I think she got a lot more fun, just like Katana, uh, with the custom variations. The ability to use the low spark with the 
uh, amp nitro kick and you know the ability to use all those other things in the last variation it's just all really cool stuff so if you have anything else that you like to use with jade make sure you comment down below and uh yeah we'll see you next time have a good one be blessed